Hey, what's going on guys? Here's a tutorial um uh, on how to get um videos in um Windows Live Movie Maker, which is uh right there here. And <clears throat> how to get it HD and how you know the quality. So uh <coughs> yeah. Hopefully my friend doesn't call me on Steam. So yeah, we're gonna start if you don't have Windows Live Movie Maker, you can download it here. The uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, yes, this is uh, the Windows Live Essentials. So yeah, you can get that. Uh, hopefully it's the right one. If it's the wrong one, I never checked. I'm gonna check here because sometimes I'll jump and yeah, this is this should be it. It's like a yeah, it is. So. You get that, and it comes with this movie, Windows Live Movie Maker, and a couple other things, Windows Live, and stuff like that. So, this is the newest update. All right, screw off. So, when you open it up and you, uh, you know, import a video, add video, you select your video, it's all here, and I got this video. It should be standard, so, not widescreen. Widescreen's good because most things are done in widescreen. So, let's uh, play my intro. Yeah, it's great, but it's not in widescreen. How do you make them widescreen, you ask? Well, I'm actually going to load up some more project files. I know I want you to see my files, so I'm actually going to cut this ass. So, yeah. Alright, I'm back with crap. So, got your Windows Live Move Maker and all that. So, you, you know, you got your film, you got your intro if you got one, you know, it's all set up, you got... Then you got your video, you know, it's just a video I did. I don't know if I'm going to upload this if you not. If you want this up, I will upload it or make another one. I don't think I'm going to upload it. So, because it's too short. And so, to uh, change it to widescreen, you go to View. Oh, my bad. Project. There we go. And, no, it says what the hell. And then uh, you go widescreen 16 uh, by 9. This is, this is it, that's it. Short tutorial, but now you got, well, if it's on standard and you go full screen, this is what's going to happen. This is what it's going to look like, so, if you can hear over this. Hey guys, I had to go somewhere, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you're going to, you know, have it like that, and if you change it to widescreen project, damn it, uh, and then play it. Hey guys, I had to go somewhere, so uh, yeah, yeah. So you get it. Really nice quality. Um, if you guys want to know how I get my mic in such good quality, I'll let you guys know. Just comment in the scrap or yeah, comment, comment below. That's it. Yes, damn it. See you guys later. Hope this helped. There'll be another tutorial on something else soon. Because a lot of people asking me. So yeah. Bye. Hey guys. There's one thing I forgot. Like I have this video already done out. And you know I made it. You know how I do the HD thing. And I forgot to do the render settings. Which I totally forgot. To get it to render out in HD. Because it's kind of important. I just realized that. I was just about to throw it on YouTube and stuff. So let me show you my export options and yes I do use Move Maker. it's actually your simplest tool doesn't crash a lot and it's really good if you want 180p use this YouTube I don't know I assume it's HD but I don't use it because um, this one right here the Zoom HD for 720p display is an HD plus it uploads super quick so you're if you got the newest update of Movie Maker, you can just go down, and this is the 2012 update. 2013 update should be better, obviously. So, you know, this is my recent settings, but if you go down to uh, Phone and Device, you'll actually have it right here. It says Zoom HD for 720p display. And it should be for a phone, I know. So it's a small file. So this is a small file that you would usually have on a phone, but 
you're using it on a computer which means oh they added Windows 8 never knew that these these might be good I'm, I'm not gonna try these oh you can have the audio only never knew that and yeah you can have your own custom setting I'm not gonna mess with that but yeah I know this is the smallest file and it uploads quick and it's HD I see no difference in anything it's an HD high quality. So yeah, just uh, throwing it out there. YouTube, I guess you can use it. I really don't know what this does. I'm going to click it and see what happens. I don't know. Yep. It uses this pretty much the same file format, but I'm not going to try it. So yeah, I'm going to chuck this in this video and then upload it up. So see you guys later. Again.